Hello again. One of the ways that I can tell when people are motivated by an irrational belief is that they often grow upset or angry if asked why they think that this or that might be true. Ask a physicist why he thinks that E equals mc squared and he will have no difficulty in explaining that energy and matter are equivalent and that the speed of light is an important constant in the universe. He won't be annoyed at the question, he won't grow angry or go red in the face. He'll just explain to you why he thinks that. It would be the same if you talked about gravity or anything else. Ask somebody, though, why they believe that Jesus was the son of God, or if Muhammad really was the last prophet, and you'll find yourself in a different situation. In fact, you could find yourself very easily on thin ice. These are matters of faith, and questioning them is likely to cause offence and sometimes anger. This is why I suspect that the enthusiasm for diversity and inclusion in many fields that we see today is not a reasonable idea, but more a doctrine which cannot be investigated and explained. It is taken for granted that it would be an inherently good thing if there were more black architects or astronomers, accountants or physicists. And yet if you ask why this would be a good thing, people are apt to look at you in distaste. What are you, a white supremacist? Do you approve of racism, segregation or apartheid? Why are you even asking that question? Before long, you will see anger stirring, and this becomes worse when the person to whom you are speaking realises that he or she really have no idea at all why they think it would be better for us all if there were more black surgeons, and it's currently the case. This tells me that those who champion this idea are not doing so because they've come to a rational decision about it. It is a matter, rather, of faith. This doesn't, of course, mean that they are wrong, but it does mean that they do not have reason and logic on their side. So let us ask the question now. I was prompted to do this by a piece on the BBC website which tells us that there is only one black chemistry professor in the whole country and that this is a result of racism. The thumbnail to this video shows the one black chemistry professor and in the description to this video I give a link to the BBC item. The headline to this article reads Firms join forces to combat racism in chemistry. Of course, we at once smell a rat here because there's no shortage at all in the field of chemists of Indian origin or uh, people of Chinese origin, say. I can think of a number of possible reasons why there are fewer black people in chemistry, going right back to the choice of A-levels and the number of A-levels passed at top grades. Chinese and Indian students do better than white ones and black students do worse. But leaving that aside, let us ask the simple question. Why would it be better for everybody if there were more black chemistry professors? What would be the advantage of this? Who would benefit? Would it make any difference generally to chemistry? This is, of course, just a random field chosen because the BBC is suggesting that there should be more black chemists. We might just as easily ask the question about quantity surveyors or engineers. Why should we wish to increase the number of black chemistry professors in Britain? Would it improve chemistry in this country? There is currently only one such professor. Would research in chemistry in Britain be improved in any way if that number were to be increased to 10 or 20 or 50? Would the quality of research be better in chemistry if there were fewer Chinese or Indian professors? if the proportion of white people were increased or decreased. How on earth would tinkering with the ethnicity of chemists affect anything at all? In other words, the call is for increased diversity in the field of chemistry. It is, of course, already pretty diverse, but what is meant in this context by diversity is more black people. But who would benefit from such a move? What would benefit? I'm posing these questions in a spirit of genuine inquiry. They are not meant rhetorically. 
I cannot see how recruiting more or fewer people of Chinese ancestry would be beneficial to chemistry or society as a whole. In the same way, I do not see how increasing the number of black chemistry professors would improve matters, either for chemistry or for the country generally. As it is, those who get brilliant A-levels in the sciences are more likely to end up at university studying chemistry, but for whatever reason, far fewer black students are in that position. This means that there are fewer black chemistry students at university and therefore fewer doing research later. I honestly don't see how any field of human endeavour could possibly be improved by trying to rig the deck and alter the ethnicity of those engaged in it. Until somebody can explain to me clearly how this would be advantageous to us all in the long run, that is to say not just chemists, but I'd be interested to see how it would benefit chemists, but how it would benefit society or science or anything else. Until that's done, I tend to regard the quest for diversity as a bit mad, a modern fad which has no foundation in reason.